Buddha often told his disciples that the sharpest knife in the world is our tongue and the most dangerous weapon in the world is our words, which can kill people internally without any bloodshed. Our words are our strength, but it can also be our greatest weakness. If we don't know what, when, where and how to open our mouth and speak. If we use the right words with the right intention at the right time, then it will make us a successful person. But if we don't use the right words at the right time with the right intention, then it will make our life worse than hell. So today I will tell you a story on silence and it's gonna change your life and it will show you the power of silence. So there was a very famous Buddhist monk in Japan and his name was Renjai. Renjai used to live alone near a forest, far away from the noise of the world. Renjai was a very meditative and enlightened man and that's why he was very prominent in Japan. But one day a prince comes to Renjai and said, Dear monk, I always feel exhausted, frustrated and perplexed. My mind is in a chaotic state. Although I have everything, money, fame, amenities, something that everyone wishes for or aspires to have, then why there is so much disturbance and anxiety in me? The monk replied, you just already know the answers to this question, just you never looked for it. The monk said, I want to do an experiment. Would you like to do it? Following that, there will be no disturbance and anxiety in your life. The prince gets so surprised by hearing this and asks to the monk, tell me what I need to do. The monk said, for the next 10 days, you will be staying at my ashram and you will live your life like an ordinary person. And in these 10 days, you will be sitting alone in silence. You will speak as little as possible. The prince agreed with the monk. On the first day, the prince felt that his mind was more disturbed and more chaotic than usual. There were a lot of questions that started rising in his mind and he was feeling uncomfortable to live like an ordinary people. But he was silent anyway. Nothing comes out of his mouth, not even a word. He just sat alone in silence. But by night, he began to experience a sense of satisfaction inside. He felt that was odd and asking himself why he was feeling joyful deep inside and why his inner restlessness and anxiety began to subside. The next day, the king sat quietly in solitude, staring at nature, the plants, flowers, the birds were flying in the sky. For the first time in his life, he was feeling that the nature around him was just amazing. He was watching and feeling the serenity of nature throughout the day. One week has passed in this way. By now, all the anxiety, depression and all the restlessness, all bustle, hustle, turmoil in his mind just went down. On the morning of the eighth day, the prince sat in solitude again and in a few minutes his eyes get closed automatically and he went into deep meditation. He sat down there with his eyes closed for the whole day and fall into the deep meditation. No worries, no words. The king was filled with infinite peace and joy from within. After spending the rest of his day in meditation, the prince appeared in front of the monk and bowed down to the monk and said, Dear monk, I have got the answers that why there was so much turmoil and anxiety in my mind. I have got every answer that why my mind was so restless and disturbed. The monk said, tell me what answers did you get? The prince said, I used to talk more than it was necessary. I used to waste my words and energy on anyone. All day long I used to talk on nonsense things with my people. And then I used to think about those same things alone. This way I just wasted my time and keep thinking in a negative way. And because of that, my mind get disturbed and restless. And that's why I was not able to work on anything properly. And then I started failing in almost everything I did. And because of my failure, I became even more depressed and irritated. And that just destroyed my life. But now these 10 days are completely different. Now I'm feeling like I'm living my life in a fulfilled way. But before this, I was living my life in a wrong way. And I also learned that you just don't need to meditate. Meditation happens automatically when you are still, calm and silent. During the last few days of meditation, one of the first things I have learned is that the most important event in a human being's life is knowing oneself. Hearing this, Rainjoy said, not just you, but most of the people in the world speak more than necessary. Even today, people only speak to humiliate each other. 
Some people talk even without wanting and waste their lives. Once Buddha asked by his disciples, Dear Buddha, why are you silent most of the time? Buddha said, Because in silence I can hear the divine within me. Silence is the first step to descent within yourself. Without silence, it is impossible to know yourself. The first rule of knowing and understanding yourself is that become silent. Talking too much clutters the mind, by which we lose our control over our mind and we lose our focus. People who talk much can never have focus power. They can never be focused on their goals. And if you're not focused, you will not be able to understand the truth of life. After that, the monk finished his talk and the prince get back to his palace. My friend, you must have noticed that people who talk more often become the object of laughter among people. And those who speak less and stick to their words, they get respect from people and people listen to the words and trust them too. Those who talk much are not sure of their thoughts. Their mind is unstable and busy. It's full of noise. And a person with an unstable mind can be successful on anything in life. A person with an unstable mind can't have laser focus. If a person knows when, where and what he has to talk about, those people are very intelligent and their personality becomes very attractive everywhere and he is successful in whatever he does. Friends, if we look deep deeper into the personality of a great and successful person, then we will find that they speak less and they end their talk in as few words as possible. And before they talk, they think deeply about things. And the people who speak a lot, often they lie and do put garbage on other people's head and mind. They criticize people and that is why even their own people hate them and try to avoid them. In our Indian Upanishads, it's been said that our words are real Brahma Sakti. From silence comes patience, and from patience comes meditation. And from meditation, we become aware of our life. And that is why, if we talk much, we lose the silence, which is the first pillar of our calm mind. So my friend, from now, from today, let's become silence. From today, we will only speak what is needed. And we will try to end our talk in a very few words. And if possible, we will try to sit quietly alone at least two hours every day. And believe me, that this will definitely bring a positive change in our lives. And maybe, just maybe some of you will find yourself like that prince. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really liked it and if you really love this video, and if you think that this video is going to help you in any area of your life, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends, family that you think can help them. Thank you so much.